Hi, hello, my name is Daniela and welcome to my February wrap-up. I've been filming this video for a fourth time, so if my energy seems a little bit low, it's probably because I'm fed up with <laughs> filming this video so much. Um, the first time my camera died, I got a camera so the video quality would be better. The first time it not it didn't die, it just stopped recording. The second time um, I filmed the whole thing, it wasn't in focus. <laughs> the third time, um, I just didn't, I just don't like, I just, I actually just finished filming. Put it on the computer and I was like, let me see how this looks. So if it's bad, I can refilm it. I just don't like how it looks. I don't know. Um, Maybe it's the camera, maybe it's the lens, I really don't know. Um, yeah, maybe I'm, I'm gonna have to look it up. I, I just hope I don't have to buy a new camera or something. Although a newer camera would probably be better when more suited to filming and vlogging because that, uh, I have an older camera. I bought a Canon D90, which is like a 2009 camera. <sighs> I just, I just, I'm just so fed up. Um, yeah. Uh, last, actually it's been two weeks since I posted, right? Uh, the video that I posted last was the Outlander uh, video, which if you haven't seen, I'll put a little thingy up here so you can click on it. It got a lot of hate, which I'm kind of not happy about. I'm just kind of like, okay, whatever. Um, I see where people are coming, like, because, like, okay, there were two types of people on the, that video. One, they were just like, you're just trashing it, you didn't even want to like it, which I did like. I, it's part of the show, but I did like it at the end, and I said, I can't wait to watch more. And there, then there were people like, hey, uh, I see where you're coming from, but maybe, like, frame the video differently next time or something, which... Okay, like that's valid criticism. Someone even wrote like, hey, I see where you're coming from. And I was like, yeah, thanks for the constructive criticism. I'll definitely take it. And uh, when I'm going to do like a reaction next time, I'm gonna think about it. <laughs> Someone actually wrote like a comment, but then deleted it, which I didn't even know that this happened. When you write a comment on a video and delete it, the person you wrote it on the video, like, the creator can still see it, like, I can see the comments, which is quite fun. Um, so someone wrote a spoiler, which I don't know if it's, if it's an actual spoiler or not, but someone, like, wrote, um, something and I was like, are you being petty? <laughs> it's, I, I don't know, just the reactions on the video just made me laugh so much, which, it's the most viewed video on my channel right now, not a lot, uh, I think 75, I don't know what it's gonna be when posting this video. But it's just funny, so so yeah. Just wanted to touch up on that, uh, and I didn't upload this last two weeks, not because I was butthurt about it or anything. Uh, I just uh, got a job, which is great because I could get more money for books, but also bad because I don't have time to film. So I got some time, so I'm filming. Anyway, let's get into the wrap up. Uh, <laughs> can you tell that I'm dreading it because I've already talked about these books four times? And I'm basically talking about the same four books over and over again, so let's just get into it. Okay, so I have five books that I read in the month of February, which is pretty good for me, pretty solid. Uh, all of them physical books. Um, so five physical books are good, even though like three of them are pretty small. But let's start with this bad boy. And this is Milk and Honey by Ruby Kaur. Um, I hope that's how you say her name. Uh, I had this book on my shelf for a while, but I never finished reading. Like, I read some of it in the car and I put it down like, okay, I'm gonna finish reading it, and I never did, so now I picked it up. And, uh, it's good. Um, if you didn't know this book, I don't know how, because everyone and their mom knows these books because it was a very Instagrammed book at one point because the cover is lovely but it gets dirty really really fast so that's the downfall of like a matte cover yeah uh, it is a short poetry collection is it a short poetry collection? it's a poetry collection uh, it is divided into four parts uh, and the parts are 
let me actually see because I'm not. Okay, so the hurting, the loving, the breaking, and the healing. So those are the four parts, and the poems kind of go along the the genre of the parts. If I can't find better word, I can't find better words to describe it. Um, I think this is a great poetry collection for beginners. Would definitely recommend if you're someone who's trying to get into poetry. This is a great beginning to see where you're kind of at. Um, I would recommend more towards women than men just because it does heavily rely on Ruby's experiences as a woman and as an Indian woman. I, I do think she's Indian. I might be wrong, uh, but she's definitely a woman of color. So again, my personal experiences with this poetry collection, some were hits and some were misses. Some of them I cried and some of them I just didn't care for. So I give this a four out of five because like I said some of them were great and some of them I just didn't care about so yeah a four out of five would recommend and I'm definitely going to be checking out her other poetry poetry collections I think she has two more or I know one the sun and her flowers but I think she has one more not sure but I'm gonna check them out and I'm definitely gonna check out the different poetry collections then we have these bad boys um these are Stay I Will Fly and My Friend Is Sad by Mo Williams and these are two children's books. Today I Will Fly is the first book in the collection and My Friend Is Sad is the second where I don't know how many there are in total. There are here on the back uh, but I don't know if they're, that's all of them. There are 10 here on the back but again I don't know if that's all of them. Um, there are short stories for children um, you can see very simple drawings and just like bubble speech um, they are part of like the series that I showed you on the back but you don't have to read one to connect to the other they aren't like connected in any way I just like reading things in order so, like them in order I have one more but I haven't read it in February I'm just keeping it as a palette cleanser because these are great as palette cleansers I read them in between like thick boys and it was so refreshing so I'm definitely going to practice them more reading like short maybe children's books but maybe just like short books in general in between like thick boys to like kind of cleanse my palette and refresh myself I don't I can't say how children react to the stories I can just say how I did and I find them very charming and would recommend them to adults even I don't know if you can just hear that but my stomach is crumbling anyway I would recommend them to adults because uh, some of the stories I think which one was it my friend is sad or I don't remember which which of these two had like an adult undertone to it whereas you know like Disney jokes for adults or like you know what I mean, where a kid watching it wouldn't get it, but you as an adult would. Uh, it kind of has an undertone to it, a light one, but still. So I gave both of these a 4 out of 5. Um, I mean, they're, they're children books. Uh, I did enjoy My Friend is Sad more than Today We Will Fly, but not in, an, in any great capacity, so yeah would recommend both of these and will be continuing and collecting and reading the rest of the series. And finally we have these chunky boys which is The Lost Hero of Olympus and The Son of Neptune. But this is the first and second book in the Hero of Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Rodden. If you don't know Rick Rodden, he is the creator of an amazing universe of demigods uh he wrote the percy jackson series which i already read would recommend reading the percy jackson series before picking up the heroes of olympus but it isn't necessary um they because the care some characters are there percy jackson and annabeth chase reappears in the books but they explain everything that you need to know about what happens in the Percy Jackson series but I would still recommend it if you like the Percy Jackson series you like this if you didn't like the Percy Jackson series you won't like this so let's get to the actual book 
the this is the first book in the Heroes of Olympus series, The Lost Hero, and uh, we are introduced to three new demigods that we follow on this adventure. We are introduced to Jason, Piper, and Leo as they go off on the typical um, Rick Rodden adventure. Which, uh, if you don't know, the formula is you go on a quest, you have planned, the plan goes wrong, but it works out somehow anyway. I don't think that's a spoiler. It's just like you read one book, you find out it's like that in all of his books. But I had a kind of refresher between the Percy Jackson series and the Heroes of Olympus series, so I was refreshed and ready to like dive back into the universe with this book. Um, the story wasn't bad. The story was classic, what I expected. As for the characters, I did not enjoy Jason. I had a problem with Piper and I loved Leo. Let me dive more into that. Jason felt boring to me. That's it. He felt clean cut, boring. Yeah, I don't know anything else what to say. Um, Piper, I had a problem with her because she, I, I'm trying to say it as, as much without spoilers as I can. She has a secret, right, in the book. Um, she has a secret and... Uh, how do I say this without spoilers? She has a secret and you, as the reader, I don't know, I at least I as the reader, thought that why is she keeping the secret? Um, you know she's gonna tell everybody about it, or at least like Leo and Jason about it. And even she kind of knows she's gonna tell them. So why was she keeping it in so long? I don't, I don't know, it just didn't make sense to me. It didn't make sense with Piper's personality um, that I know now because I've read like uh, all, every book except the last book in the series. But yeah, it just, it just didn't sit, sit right with me. And Leo, Leo, I love Leo. Leo is great. Um, his sense of humor, nah, spot on. Love it, love, love him. Love him so much. Um, but yeah, I give this book four out of five stars just because uh, I didn't like the characters. I, um, which isn't a reason to give it uh, a four star, but I also didn't understand Piper's motivation for that secret. Like it didn't make sense to me in the context of the book. So yeah, a four out of five. Then we have the second book, The Son of Neptune. Um, here we revisit old friends from Camp Hablet, Blood. So we see Percy again. And we are interested to new demigods from the other camp. Um, I'm gonna be as vague as possible because I don't like spoilers. Uh, I mean, I don't mind spoilers. I'm just that type of girl. But I know a lot of people don't like spoilers. So I'm being vague. Yeah, the other camp. Um, Hazel and Frank. I love Hazel and Frank. Of course, Percy, I think, from the characters, Percy is one of my favorites because his just sense of humor is just like dry and sarcastic and he's just like uh, dismantled the patri patriarchy or whatever. He's very anti, um, anti uh, the regime of the demigods or the gods of Olympus kind of a rebel, which I love that, love that so much. But Frank and Hazel, I love them so much. For some reason, Piper and Jason kind of remind me of like a bootleg version of uh, Percy and Annabeth, which mm, in the other books, they kind of do distinguish each other a little bit. But in the first book, it just kind of feels like that, like you're setting up another Percy Beth for me. Um, but Frank and Hazel feel completely fresh, completely new, and I did very much enjoy their personalities and their motivations, which I felt like some characters in the first book lacked. Um, as for the story, I read the, this book and the first book in quite quick succession, so I kind of got bored with the Rick Rodden formula, which again is go on an adventure, have a plan, plan fails, but everything works out in the end. So I did put down this book for a while and was like trudging picking it up, but I, I'm so glad that I did. I did enjoy it at the end and the other books don't have the same formula. Like, it kind of changes up. So I'm glad 
that I won't get bored with them. And I also gave this one a 4 out of 5 just because um, of the repetition of the story. Maybe if I gave um, the first book and the second book a little bit of time between each other, I would love, like, I would have liked them more. I would have liked the second book more, but it just got a little bit boring and predictable. And that is it for my February wrap-up. As for a TBR, I am currently reading the second book in the, I mean, the second volume of the manga, Death Note. Uh, and I am reading it in Czech which I'm not too happy about, but I got it as a gift, so I'm, I'm just trudging to it. And it's, like, the story is good. The check's giving me a little bit of problem. Um, but nothing serious. I mean, it's mostly pictures. Uh, and I am also reading the, I mean, listening to on audiobook, The Chronicles of Dune. I am currently on the third book, and I have some opinions. Um, don't know really how to feel about the, uh, the series have some mixed emotions, so I'm gonna be talking about that in my March wrap-up. Um, so yeah, we have some manga, we have some books in the future, and I can't wait to dive into it with you guys. I do want to do a uh, reading vlog for the last book in the Heroes of Olympus series, just to get my reaction on camera, because I think I'm gonna be screaming from excitement and whatnot if I... because I loved the last book in the Percy Jackson series with the Battle of Manhattan which I don't think is a spoiler like you don't know what's gonna happen to just the Battle of Manhattan but yeah, if it's anything like the last book in the Percy Jackson series which I think is gonna be better I'm gonna love it yeah, that's it for this video Hopefully uh, this actually <laughs> goes online because I don't want to film this another time uh, And I have to kind of plan these TBRs better because I kind of want them to go up like the second or first video of the month Of the new month and like, usually uh, I put post them like at the end of the month um, The second month that I film so like this would go up the last week of March, which I don't know how I feel about that order. I'm gonna think about it more. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. And go follow me on all my other social media. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, a lot of fun stuff to be had. But yeah, bye.